This petition challenges the very cynical appointment of someone totally unqualified to lead the school system. Peen was among two dozen parents and education advocates who traveled to Albany on Thursday in a show of strength as a state court heard arguments in three lawsuits protesting Kathy Black's appointment. I think it's very cynical on the mayor's part to put someone with no educational experience whose only real background is managing for-profit companies. By law, the chancellor has to hold a master's degree or get a waiver based on other qualifying experience. State Education Commissioner David Steiner granted the waiver after the Bloomberg administration said a longtime education official would serve as Black's chief academic officer. But opponents say that does nothing to improve her qualifications. Kathy Black's waiver application relies upon the appointment of a shadow chancellor in order to make up for the deficiencies in her resume and create the illusion of competence. Houdini would be proud, but the law should not tolerate such trickery. But attorneys for the state and Mayor Bloomberg argued that Black's background is exactly what makes her uniquely qualified to take over the position. Education Commissioner Steiner has admitted Black isn't the perfect fit for the job, but found her experience made up for her lack of classroom hours. She has the substantial equivalence of what someone who had 60 hours training and three years worth of teaching. You ran out. She goes beyond that because she is the exceptionally qualified person. The judge is expected to render a decision before the new year when Chancellor Joel Klein resigns. But either way, this is probably still the beginning of the judicial process because whatever the ruling, the losing side is likely to appeal. In Albany for New York One, I'm Caitlin Ross.